I am trying it again. Oh my goodness. Did I do the right thing? Did I do the right thing? Well, you guys will be able to tell me if I made it onto your page. You'll be able to tell me so I'll be able to listen to comments, write comments, and go live on YouTube. So I'm thankful for being able to go live on YouTube. That is a big deal for us. We're trying new things, trying new things. So it is Wednesday evening and you all already know I love to hear that my help meets are on with me. I love to hear that they are sipping something and you already know if you're following and you were on on Sunday you know we're trying a new flavor today. So I'm Yvette Benton of Gerald and Yvette Ministries, GeraldandYvette.com. Oh my goodness, I love to do that. So decree and declare with me, I'm a help meet suitable. And I'm sipping, oh my goodness, you all already know we're trying something new today. I love my sips. You Now, don't get me wrong, I love to do the help me tips, but I like the sips just as much. So what are you all sipping? I like to pick a sip of the day. Who's sipping with me? I see some water. You all are so good with the sipping of the water. I did have my water earlier today. I like cucumber in my water eh, because I'm not really a water fan. So I have to like add some things to it. So I like cucumber in my water, but I don't have that right now. Um, so I got to pick, oh, oh, a protein shake. Okay. All right. That might be the sip of the night is a protein shake. So I've got a great tip for you. You already saw, you already saw the title. Yep. Sounds like we're going to be doing some things. Guess what, ladies? I ordered something and I absolutely love it. Ah! <laughs> this is not wine but it's my sip and this is my bag it's got my name on it i saw it and i had to have it i like stuff with my name on it i y'all loving it <laughs> i love it so i told you sunday that i was debuting woohoo shannon sierra brand new type of sparkling juice now this is gonna be online and people are gonna send me messages calm down it's juice it's juice so looky 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 organic juice apple elderflower you know i had to use the new program because it flips it around so you guys could see what do you all think of my elderflower isn't that pretty this is my favorite part like i feel like i'm super you know cool i know we're gonna get to a tip but i need to show you my new stuff i need to show you my new stuff so i have two bottles don't judge me and i opened the other bottle already but uh i told you guys i like to look at stuff so i have a beautiful area where all my sparkling juice is so i had to make sure i had one for the beautiful area but we're gonna try this together Hey, my very cute Gerald and Yvette glass. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Somebody's going to say that I like stuff with my name on it. And they're right. Ah, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So I am trying this for the first time. I'm assuming it's like elderberry because it said elderflower. But if it isn't, I don't know. And I haven't tried it. I wanted to try it with you. So this is Help Me Sips and Tips or Help Me Tips and Sips. Today we're sipping first before the tips. So it's Help Me Sips and Tips. I probably should put that on. What do you guys? Oh, oh, oh. What do you think? Whoa. Someone said that's fancy. I think it is kind of fancy. It's got a little, um, let me try. It's definitely elderberry. An elderberry must come from an elder flower because I've been doing good and having my elderberry. This is good. 
But now it's got a lot more sparkle than the juices I'm used to. It actually, yeah, it's got, hmm, I do feel a little more fancy. <laughs> mm, I recommend that. Oh, ladies. I recommend that. We'll talk about that. But I'm the author of Help for the Help Me. I'm Yvette Benton. We have Help for the Help Me. And today we do have a tip. It's not just about the sip, Yvette. We do have a tip. So I'm on page 56, but mostly I'm going to talk about how we've been feeling because, you know, the enemy tries to do a couple things and I'm going to break some things off today because... I like to break things off. I like to use my authority. I know you guys know that. So we've got our okay. journal. Here's my and, counter. Oh, okay. Alexa, turn Here's off. One, two, Alexa, three. turn off. Y'all see that? I couldn't have planned that. I said I want to use my authority and all of a sudden stuff starts happening in the room. Mm -hmm. You already know. Don't interrupt me when I say I'm going to use my authority. Cut that off. Don't be distracted. Follow. Follow. Did y'all see that? <laughs> Alexa. Somebody once said Alexa was from the devil. <laughs> Does that play the song zombie too? No, Alexa, turn off. I'm broadcasting. What's happening? Somebody said she's been acting up. Don't, don't interrupt me. I'm trying to help. All right, I'm on page 56. Are y'all with me? You already know. Earlier this week, if you were on yesterday's morning prayer, I woke up, got ready for prayer, and couldn't find my iPad. Mm -hmm. Satan's getting a little desperate. Now I'm trying to give you a tip and can't say her name. It's trying to interrupt. We shut down all hindrances. We already know. Um, we want to put, uh, we're on page 56. <laughs> oh Lord, it says God, we want God to convict and deal with sinful behavior because vengeance belongs to the Lord. I'm going to read that again because it's simple, but it is not easy when you're dealing with marriage or waiting on marriage. It says, who help me. Our job is to love through sin. Oh, I didn't say that the first time. I better sip on that. Help me. Our job is to love through sin. We needed to sip elderflower. Fancy. Our job is to love through sin and allow God to convict and deal with sinful behavior because vengeance belongs to the Lord. That was on page 56. Don't get mad. We're going to handle some business. We're going to handle this today. I'm going to say that again. Help meets our job is to love them through sin. Not necessarily wait until the sin is gone. And then act like a help. Am I just sipping because it's good? Or does that need a sip? A little bit of both. A help me can love through the sin. Through the sin. And allow God to convict. Oh, I don't know about you, but I thought it was my job to make sure my husband felt convicted about his sin. Now, I didn't say that out loud to him, but I was always making insinuations, bringing up stuff. You know, I'm telling him all this kind of stuff. And God, when I finally re revealed, when he revealed to me I needed to be a help me, he was like, I got this. <laughs> Does anybody else need a sip? Oh. Holy Spirit was like, uh, I got this. You handle your own business. Oh. 
And I realized I was getting bitter. I was getting frustrated with his behavior. I was getting frustrated with his sin. I was really getting mad because when I was bringing it up, he was like, whatever, what, whatever, you need to do this. And you know, you really need to do that. And, and, uh, God doesn't like it when you do that. I came, I was handling, I, God was like, come here, come here, come here. I got this. Vengeance belongs to me because I was mad. Vengeance belongs to God. Romans 12 is my favorite scripture. Now, isn't that a, isn't that a, isn't that a mess? Romans 12 is my favorite script, is my favorite chapter in the Bible. And verse 19 says, Beloved, never avenge yourself, but leave the way open for God's wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. Considering that was my favorite, that is my favorite chapter. I was struggling. And every time I realized I wanted a little vengeance and God wouldn't let me, then I had to get delivered from bitterness and I didn't want to be bitter. But God was showing me every time I was kind of trying to handle that vengeance, I was getting angry. I was getting frustrated. And he was like, you need deliverance from bitterness and love him through, love him through the sin. Uh, can I say the bitterness was a little more comfortable? Mm -hmm. Who's going to be honest with me? The frustration, the anger, it was a little more comfortable than even the love. Ooh, people don't want to say stuff like that. People don't want to say stuff like that. Okay. Mm-mm-mm. Good thing this elderberry is good today because we all need it. We're going to crash this assignment of bitterness. We can't be bitter and we can't be vengeful. We got to love through sin. Oof. I will love him through the sin. Is that our declaration for the day? I think that's our declaration for the day. I will love him through sin. Can you declare that? That's really for anyone, but it's the hardest when it's our king. When it's your PPK, it's very hard. I will love him through sin. It's easier to be frustrated. It's easier to try to take vengeance, but the word of God says vengeance belongs to the Lord. He'll repay. When we're trying to repay, we're really picking up assignments of bitterness and anger. We don't want to be bitter. We want to, we want, we want to love through sin. And that might take some uh, extra uh, sparkling juice. <laughs> oh, ladies, I will love him through the sin. Mm. If you have a sip, you might need a couple. Because mm. loving him through sin takes a lot of Jesus. And, and maybe, just maybe, that was God's intent because we can't do that without him. So God wants us to go to him, get ourselves together and love our Kings through sin. Ooh, that's a good tip right there. So yes, I'm showing off my <laughs> sparkling juice bag. They need to rename these sparkling juice bags. I said it. Mm -hmm. I said, it. I love him through the sin. That's what I'm going to do. All right, help me. I'm decreeing and declaring and I'm breaking some, some bitterness off of you in the name of Jesus. God, we, we repent for being bitter. We repent for, for, for seeking vengeance. We know vengeance belongs to you, so we give it over to you in the name of Jesus. We take our authority and cancel assignments of bitterness off of ourselves, off of our mind, off of our thoughts off of our words. We will not be bitter. We'll be better. We will not be bitter. We will not be vengeful. We will love through sin. God, give us the heart like your heart, creating us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us. God, we give it over to you. They're your sons. 
They're your sons. Our kings are your sons, God. We will not seek vengeance. We will love them through sin in Jesus' name. Break it off yourself. Cancel it. Shut it down. Help me. Vengeance does not belong to us. So we're not going to have it. You know what we're going to have? A little more sparkling juice. Calm down. Get some sparkling juice. And love your king through sin. That's a help me tip. That's help me being suitable. All right. Make sure you're putting it in your help me tips and sips journal. Write it down. Vengeance does not belong to me. I will not be bitter. I'm going to love him through the sin. And then whew, you can write down. This was the day we tried the elderberry and apple flavor. Never know what I might try on Sunday. Today we had, now this is from um, Flavored Sparkling Juice of Val de France. I mean, this is some fancy organic stuff apple elderberry and i think i'm gonna try pomegranate on sunday so join me on sunday 11 p.m eastern standard time i'll be having apple pomegranate and we'll try it together all right thanks for joining me i'm yvette benton of gerald and yvette.com go to our website for resources information all that you need. Do you have your help me book and workbook? If you don't have it, you need it for your resources and your journal. Don't forget our testimony is in our book, Bent But Not Broken. You don't have that and you need hope and to believe that God can and will restore. You need our book, Bent But Not Broken. I'm Yvette Benton and I'm a help me suitable. I'm decreeing and declaring your help me suitable too. Good night.